Even if they don't like each other, we sure do. Hi, I'm Emily from Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 animated Disney movie siblings. <laughs> hey, could you knock it off? No. Dot, you're a young queen ant, and your wings are too little I to be- I was talking to mother. You're not the queen yet, Adam. Now, Dot, be nice to your sister. It's not my fault she's so stressed out. For this list, we're looking at our favorite animated brothers and sisters from Disney movies. And yeah, we're throwing Pixar in there, too. Let's go. Number 10, Kenai Danahi and Sitka, Brother Bear. It's the story of my two brothers and me. When the three of us were young, we were taught that the world is full of magic. Well, it's right there in the title, even if this is one of the more, dare we say, underrated Disney films. I told you before, my name's Koda. Say it with me, Koda. Duh. Regardless, we had to put Kenai, Danahi, and Sitka on here because of the bond they shared. Hey, bonehead. <laughs> Just because his totem is wisdom doesn't mean he's wise. I mean, look at him. He loves me. He loves me. <laughs> hey, whoa! Hi, oh, hi. <laughs> oh. Sure, they argue and fight a lot. More than most of our entries here, for sure. But they ultimately care for one another, and you can see that in Brother Bear's ending. No matter what you choose, You'll always be my little brother. <laughs> that hug they share was immensely heartwarming, and it shows that even when we butt heads with siblings, we should always be there for them. Number 9. The Dalmatians. 101 Dalmatians. We simply couldn't choose one group of puppies over another group, let alone try to name them all. The puppies are here! Oh, the puppies are here! Uh, how, how, how many? Eight! Eight? By George Pongo! Eight puppies! Ten! Eleven! Eleven! They're all just too cute although we'll keep our scope limited to the main litter, and they each have colorful personalities. Let's see, there's Patch, the rowdy one. I like to tear his gizzard out. Why, Patch, where did you ever hear such talk? Lucky, the leader of the litter. Rolly, the one who's always hungry. I'm hungry. Now, Rolly, you've just had your dinner. But I am just the same. I'm so hungry I could eat a, a whole elephant. Penny and Freckles. It's kind of astounding how they're able to tell each other apart from their other dozens of brothers and sisters, but then again, these pups have had to find their way home how many times? And look, there's a whole lot more. Look, Anita, puppies everywhere. Number eight, Cinderella, Anastasia, and Drizella, Cinderella franchise. These three are a rather unique bunch, but they're probably the most iconic siblings in the classic Disney catalog. Mother! You get it. You did on purpose! Mother! 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 Oh, what did you do? On one hand, we have Cinderella, a sweet and caring young lady who cleans while talking to animals. All right, Lucifer. What did you do with him? Oh, you're not fooling anybody. We'll just see about this. Come on, let him go. Then we have her dim-witted stepsisters Anastasia and Drizella, who do everything they can to make Cinderella feel miserable while competing with each other. And yet, they're almost just as recognizable as Cindy and have amassed a fan base of their own. Really, have you seen the cosplays? Honestly, though, it was surprising to see Anastasia turn on her sister in Cinderella 3. What a pig! Who's the pig now? <laughs> Guess you never really know what's gonna happen between these three, huh? Number 7. Mufasa and Scar, The Lion King Well, I was first in line until the little hairball was born. That hairball is my son and your future king. Oh, I shall practice my curtsy. Hey, we didn't say they had to get along to make the list. We were considering Zeus and Hades for their stark contrast in personalities and appearances. But if we had to pick one fierce sibling rivalry, it's Mufasa and Scar. They aren't so different when you think about it. Both are fierce rulers and demonstrate excellent leadership skills. When I'm king, what'll that make you? A monkey's uncle. <laughs> You're so weird. 
You have no idea. Of course, the biggest reason why they deserve a spot on here is because of that iconic scene. Yeah, you know which one we're talking about. Mufasa's death during that stampede. There just isn't a betrayal quite like it. Scar! Brother! Help me! Number 6. Marie, Toulouse, and Berlioz, the Aristocats It wouldn't be fair if only the dogs got a spot on this list. Marie, Toulouse, and Berlioz are just as adorable as the Dalmatians with their bow ties and ribbons. Wait for me! Wait for me! Be first! Be first! Ooh. Why should you be first? Because I'm a lady, that's why. <laughs> You're not a lady. You're nothing but a sister! They're so cute, it's almost a crime. Despite their differing personalities and competitive behavior, the three spend time together as they practice singing, painting, and playing the piano. You know, rich kid activities. You must sing your scales and your However, it's a little hard to believe they're Duchess's kittens since their mother is much more cautious and worrisome. Well, she started it. Ladies do not start fights, but they can finish them. Then again, these three can be a real handful. Number 5. Hiro and Tadashi Hamada, Big Hero 6. Hiro, get on! Tadashi! Oh, good timing! Have you ever had an older sibling to look up to? I'm not giving up on you. Ah! Uh, uh, what are you doing? Shake things up! Uh, Use that big brain of yours to think your way out. What about trying to be a good role model for a younger sibling? No matter which side of the coin you're on, you probably relate to Hiro and Tadashi Hamada. Welcome to nerd school. Nerd. Hey, I, um... I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, so... Y you know... Thanks for not giving up on me. When he was around, Tadashi was always one to lend a helping hand and see the good in the world. Essentially, he was the best brother Hiro could ever have, which is why his death was so heartbreaking to witness. To see a bond like that break so suddenly brought a tear to our eyes. How could you, Disney? You took away a good man to give us a well-developed character. You monsters. You will be all right. There, there. Number 4. Wendy, John, and Michael Darling, Peter Pan. Ah, yes, the darling children. Oh, my! We can fly! You can fly! We can fly! Come on, everybody. Here we go! <laughs> Up to Neverland! Where would they be if not for Peter Pan and his obsession with feeding Captain Hook to the crocodile? At home reading books? Heck no. These kiddos want adventure, where they can swashbuckle with pirates, tell campfire stories, and use fairy dust to fly above tall buildings with reckless abandon. This time you've gone too far! And Wendy! Why else should they be on here? For caring for one another and understanding the importance of growing up. Child's growing up. It's high time she had a room of her own. Sure! What? No! I mean it! Young lady, this is your last night in the nursery. Now, nah, these kids know how to live when they aren't establishing moral values. Oh, mother and mine. Your mother and mine. Number three, Dash, Violet, and Jack-Jack Parr. The Incredibles franchise. What are you hungry for? Tony Ridinger. Shut up. <laughs> well, you are. I said shut up, you little insect. Given how much these three bicker with one another, it's a wonder how Bob and Helen haven't been pushed to insanity. Then again, doesn't every parent feel that way? Honey? Kids, listen to your mother. She'd eat if we were having Tony Loaf. That's it. Hey. Hey. As the Aristocat kittens argue in light-hearted smack talk, the Par Trio is always criticizing and driving each other nuts. Although we'd be lying if we said their arguments weren't funny on occasion. Do something! Don't just stand there! I need you to intervene! You want me to intervene? Okay, I'm intervening! I'm intervening! 
For anyone with siblings who watches these Pixar films, it's like looking in a mirror. No matter how much they fight, though, Violet and Dash, and Jack-Jack after a cookie, manage to set aside their differences and watch each other's backs when fighting criminals. I hereby declare war on peace and happiness! Soon all will tremble! Number 2. Lilo and Nani Pelikai, Lilo and Stitch <coughs> What puts the Pelikai sisters so high on the list is just how real they are. Do you want to be taken away? Answer me! No! No, you don't understand? No! No, what? No! <laughs> Unlike some of our other entries, Lilo and Nani are all alone and still suffering over the loss of their parents. And we see the ugly side of them early in the movie. At least a rabbit would behave Go ahead, then you'll be happy because it will be smarter than me too. And quieter! You'll like it because it's stinky like you! Get out of your room! I'm already in my room! Lilo struggles in coping with their parents' deaths and fitting in at school, while Nani has to work her butt off to pay bills while fulfilling her new role as Lilo's mother figure. I shouldn't have yelled at you. We're sisters. It's our job. Yeah, well, from now on... I like you better as a sister than a mom. As they continue to accept their lives, they fight, they argue, but they also make amends and learn from their mistakes. Ohana means family, you guys! Okay. Now, before we get to number one, here's some other excellent siblings. I became a sister to three new brothers, the princes, Hamish, Hubert, and Harris. We devils, more like. They get away with murder. I can never get away with anything. Hmm, vanilla bean. Oh, small twist of lemon. Oh, you can smell all that? You have a gift. This is Emil, my brother. He's easily impressed. Our deal was that you could stay awake until Daddy came home. Now say goodnight. <gasps> Dad, do we have to? Mm. No, you two can stay up. We're just gonna be sitting here telling each other how much we love each other. Right, honey? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, she's got it bad. What? What has she got? Isn't it obvious, Daddy? Ariel's in love. Ariel? In love? Oh, you are such a big girl. Andy, you think she's ready to drive the car yet? Yeah, and I can teach her. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Anna and Elsa – Frozen Franchise Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, come on, come on, come, come on! <laughs> From the outset of the first film, it's clear that Anna and Elsa have a pretty special relationship. But an accident when they were kids forces these two close sisters apart. Okay, Anna. I got you. Elsa, what have you done? This is getting out of hand. It was an accident. Throughout Frozen, we see just how complicated the bond between sisters can be, especially during Do You Want to Build a Snowman? We only have each other. It's just you and me. What are we gonna do? Do you want to build a snowman? Even in Elsa's darkest moments, Anna continues to show she cares and wants to help her, regardless if she ends up accidentally cursed by her own sibling. The best parts of the Frozen films aren't the musical numbers or Olaf's funniest bits, it's Anna and Elsa's relationship. <sighs> Anna? <sighs> oh, Elsa, you sacrificed yourself for me? I love you. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Hit that like button, subscribe to Ms. Mojo, and check out this other great video. Okay, okay bye. bye.